Jonas says, good day, Lisa Ann. I am chatting with a certain Lisa Ann on Telegram. I would like to know if the Lisa Ann account in the attached screenshots is really yours. Thanks. Jonas, I'm really sorry. Uh, I do not have a Telegram. Uh, I do not private message anyone. So for those out there, and I can only imagine right now at this very moment, let's all stop our brains and realize there's a guy messaging somebody and he's believing it's me. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here talking to you. This thought that someone wants to talk to a stranger is bizarre to me. What would make a celebrity, what would make a person, what would make a doctor, what would make a lawyer, what would make somebody who's incredibly busy What would make them want to reach out to an absolute stranger they've never met before and start a conversation on any sort of platform, DM, uh, Telegram, whatever it may be? What is it that people think that makes that a possibility? Because if the exchange is going back and forth, I believe Jonas, definitely, probably having a long-term conversation. Hopefully Jonas did not send money. Uh, Hopefully Jonas has not been scammed. But we know this is happening. But we also have to take accountability, have some self-awareness. Is it the scammer's fault or is it this person getting scammed's fault? When we watched the Tinder swindler, what did we think? We felt both parties took blame. The Tinder swindler was scamming these women because he also lied to them and said he was wealthy. And so these women got attached to him because he was wealthy, even though he never showed them wealth. And then he did this pyramid scam where he was getting money from one for the other. And then was just moving money around, but none of the money was his. And he was scamming money from these women. And, and then these women, I get it. It's sad. They went through this, but first of all, why are you sending money to people on the internet? Secondly, they're both in the wrong. You have to be more accountable when you're on the internet and know that most likely the interaction that you're having is not happening in real time and know that you could be getting scammed and know that that person is probably not interested in talking to strangers. That person, that person being me, probably has their own friends. Yes, I do. Probably doesn't have enough time to stay connected with everybody. That is true. Would not be taking time away from a friend that I have friendship that I've known for years that I've built that I love to talk to a stranger. So reeling it in I always remind everybody, I do take down Tuesdays every Tuesday. I'm always reminding my followers, making my community aware of the scams on the internet. But I'm not private messaging anybody. I don't even answer my DMs, okay? I just don't have that kind of time. If I were to answer DMs on all of my platforms, I'd be committing about 10 hours a day. The only place I answer my DMs is on my Lisa and fans account because that account, people pay to be a member to that account. And that is where I can earn an income for actually answering messages. I will do that because that then becomes a job. But to just volunteer my time for 10 hours a day to talk to strangers, just weird. It's a little unrealistic. We're all out here on these streets trying to raise money for our retirements. We're all trying to make sure we have all the shit we need. Nothing in this world is getting cheaper. I'm on my hustle. You're on your hustle. We're staying on our hustle. So don't be misled into thinking that somebody that you like in a larger space is DMing you, messaging you and on on these with you. Do not give money to strangers on the internet. And please, everyone, be careful. I don't private message. Uh, I don't have a telegram. And I'm super sorry, Jonas. 